Welcome to the Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Sarah Dawn. I think you guys might have seen her some of her shorts on YouTube and on TikTok. She's pretty big uh, men's activist in a sense. This is a video about how women feel about men now after they've <laughs> hit the wall. So it's pretty much about post-wall women apologizing about feminism. So please like and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, let's get to the chow. It's chow time. Well, hello, everyone. If you're new here, my name is Sarah Dawn, and I'm just doing my part to put an end to the gender wars. I provide educational information about men and women to help bridge the gap, sprinkled with a little humor and a dose of sarcasm. So today I want to share a clip with you from a very impactful discussion I had with nine amazing ladies who all subscribe to my channel. I held a couple of different panel discussions, one with men and one with women, which will be included in my course that will be launching in the middle of February. This is the only shit I do not like about people in this space. Why do you need to sell courses? I don't get it. I just, I mean, I guess I, 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 I do understand they put in the work to create these courses and to do these things and they do want to get make money out of it. But it feels very disingenuine when you create a channel and you do all this and you create courses that people have to pay for. Like, I understand memberships just to get extra perks for, you know, that person and stuff. But like these courses, mm, I mean, maybe it's just me how I feel about courses, but I mean, she, she touched on it right in the beginning though, the gender war thing. I never really considered it a war, but a lot of my comments now are putting in the, the hashtag gender war in there. And I think it is a war, right? But it's like, it's wars. It's many wars. It's many different battles between men and women, you know? custody battle would be one the battle of superiority would be one you know the battle of having kids and taking care of kids is another you know like all of these battles are actually quite different battles in the battlefield so you can sign up with a link in the description so i'm in the process of moving into a larger place and we'll have a new studio where i'll be doing regular panel sessions i'll be inviting men and women to have discussions with one another on my youtube lives and i will be the moderator so sounds like uh very similar to how pearl does it um so i mean that's what i kind of want to do too tell the truth i've been getting a lot of heat in real life for about my channel uh there's i do also like event businesses me and my, my, i have a partner and i that uh we plan like little events concerts and we just toss out free concerts and things like that for people and uh we did one last time right before christmas and then the people that helped us with that don't want to work with me anymore because they found out about my channel and um they don't like what my channel talks about so i just think it's funny because my partner and i pay for most of the event and we take care of almost everything we're the sponsors of the event so to not want to work with us it's just like crippling yourself for the future in a sense of growth but greater my goal is for each side to be able to have a robust discussion with one another and for everyone to watch my family is scared for me but i love a challenge so i guess we'll see how it goes i can see why her family is scared for her just because women will destroy things men men aren't gonna do shit if you want to volunteer to be a part of this write me at saradonmore.com and oh. in the subject line put panel discussion maybe i want to be on this i will need men and women where does she live so this particular <laughs> panel covered a whole host of topics as to what women find attractive in the opposite sex why intimacy dries up in a marriage and lastly i asked them what was one thing that they wanted to share with the men who subscribed to my channel it was authentic real and exactly what this channel is about i hope you enjoy as well i think and this was like kind of like a biological switch i wasn't ready for it oh, myself shit. but like when how am i gonna make it so you like, see everybody's faces properly. like that's such oh, a that weird awkward like <laughs> 
attraction <laughs> trait that I was never prepared for to find attractive. But I think it means like, for example, like they're reliable, they're consistent, like they're dependable, um, like they follow through with what they say. Like that's something that I think is very attractive. So, yeah. so uh, normal so average men that do what they do. Men in the friend zone. I think I see a hundred different titles and videos and posts and TikToks and Instagram. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this friend zone is just like a, such a thing that people talk about. So at a time, I will say it was very unfair to men. Um, I would keep them in a friend zone just to keep my options open, which is hypocritical because I wouldn't want a man to do that to me. But I definitely took advantage of those things in my 20s. Um, Women. And uh, it's selfish. And I think when a man respects himself enough to be like, don't keep me waiting. I'm not going to entertain you when you entertain me. Then you can get out of the friend zone in a very quick way. If it's done like top. Don't listen to her. Like you just don't be her friend in the beginning. Once you're in the friend zone and all of a sudden you, 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 you try to tr grow some balls and leave. She still isn't going to take you that seriously. You have to set those boundaries up in the beginning. Right. Like, oh, well, let's just be friends. No, I saw you as something more than a friend, so uh, I'm going to deny your friendship and uh, move on. That's all you got to do. Tactfully, and it's like, listen, don't string me along. Like, this is what I want. If it's not you, just... And then I'm like, oh, well, I haven't seen you in this light, actually. I kind of saw you as someone who was always going to be there. Yeah, bullshit. You, you don't see him in that light because he didn't meet the, the looks criteria in the beginning. That's why you never saw him in that light. Even if he came to you that way, it, it's very hard for you to see him different. Yeah. But maybe the fear of losing you makes me assess like what you mean to me or just the fact that you're taking on this. The fear of losing you. Well, women direct approach of like i know you have a bunch of guys but this is what i want and i'm not competing with anybody don't waste my time by then i'm like oh hold on one second you know it has it's happened to me like one time i'm not saying it happens all the time but when someone respects themselves enough to speak up and say i know the game that you're playing and i'm not going to participate i'm like wow okay i have to respect you because you're commanding respect so over time those amazing friendships they do want something more and i don't and, and the same thing i used to be naive and think you know they think like i do like we're just amazing friends but the, a lot of times they don't and no. that's why we have the idea of this is why men and women can't be friends it's not a 100 percent card hold or cold hard facts of no they cannot be friends is just very very hard very hard men want what they want and you have what they want <laughs> that's all it is uh, they can remain in the friend zone but i think guys want more and they have to understand that we don't always see it that way and we want to just keep them as friends yeah i definitely like if they have strong opinions that i should feel a certain way without getting to know what i think and feel that's very frustrating to me i, I move away from that quickly can you give me an yeah, give me an example. Yeah. Um, when they say some of the comments, I say I shouldn't feel that way, or they're surprised I think that, and or why why would you feel that way? And I'm open to a discussion with it, but it's more of a you're stupid um, for thinking this. You should think my way. That drives me nuts. Um, and one guy I went out with, um, and he's like, I can't believe I'm with the hot girl from the dance. I'm like, well, okay, no, 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 no. You're with me. Get to know me. I'm not that. So they kind of build up this perception of who I'm going to be in this expectation that I'm never going to be able to meet instead of just getting to know me. Think, um, I'm confused. Being in alignment with your integrity. So when you say you're going to do something, just do it. Like, don't yeah, talk just stop about fucking it. with just fuck boys. So There's a I reason think, why you're post wall now. Um, that's a big hang up for me. Like, I'd rather see you do it than hear about you. This is everything that women complain about in their 30s. Why? Because the men that they fucked around with in their 20s did exactly this to them so now you're you're this is what you hate what men do no only these particular men do this not all men do this maybe doing it not do it so just do it and be done but i think the talk is it's cheap and i don't i don't watch men's what do you think women do all all women do is talk yeah, and men know talk is cheap. <laughs> Whatever you guys fucking say, we easily debunk one or two. We know it's not even true. 
words anymore. I watch their actions and I form my judgment based off their actions. Yeah, that's what we do too. Words. words are a dime a dozen. I just want to, everyone is collectively not. <laughs> yep. Just so that yeah, because they're all post wall women that now are realizing, oh shit. Men that are watching, you know. Uh, we did it the wrong men. A, a thing, saying something and they're not following through. It's, um, they have their perception on that as well, but just know that that, you know, there's a lot of women that have experienced that with men. Like there's some things that I've done to emasculate men or that have caused, you know, them to feel not good about themselves. Oh, I could, I could definitely answer this one. <laughs> so, um, it... she's like all excited. Oh, I could definitely answer this one. How I emasculated men. Oh yeah. Let me tell you my story. In our marriage, this was something you actually really helped me out with Sarah. So I have to thank you for this because um, I spent a lot of time in our marriage um, feeling very frustrated when my husband came home from work and he's a carpenter. He works in the construction field. So you know how men are direct with each other. Well, it's like 10 times that in the construction field. So I would get really frustrated when he would come home and he just kind of like shut himself out and needed to just like get away and have some alone time. Like I was like, why don't you want to spend time with me? Why don't you want to like hang out with me while we have time to do that. And now I understand like he needs that time to decompress and he needs to release all the stress from fighting and working all day and dealing with people who are really hard to be around sometimes. And so now I understand like, okay, when my husband comes home, I've learned to give him like an hour to himself. And he comes out of that hour, like so ready to interact with me, our kids. And he's just, I'm glad women are learning. At least she's married and she's learning. And she, now she understands what her man needs. I like this one. I, I did make fun of her in the beginning, but she actually came out with a pretty damn good story. Just so much more, um, like soft and ready to like have a good time. To yeah. It's just like you women when, when you're upset or kind of frustrated and you come home and someone bugs you, are you in a better mood after that? No. When men come home from, especially construction, and this mother, this mother chucker probably built houses for you uh, as a living, you know, putting up houses in the hot summer or hot fucking sun, coming home, and then your wife's like, hey, 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 to help take care of the kids. Hey, come on, let's spend some time together. Hey, hey, let's watch a movie. Let's do this. Let's do this. Hey, hey, how don't you want to spend time with me? That shit is fucking frustrating. We love you. Give us some time. <laughs> we'll, 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 trust me, men, we want to spend time with our family. We want to spend time with our kids. We want to spend time with our wife. We just need certain times to relax a little bit together give one piece of advice for men one thing about women that maybe they don't know or that you would like them to know yeah um, we, um yeah. my advice is to just hang in there it's a tough world for men right now they don't have a lot of ways to speak or express themselves a lot of them have been so hurt that they can't move forward so just be brave and hang in there so we hear a lot horrible advice just just be brave and hang in there guys <laughs> nothing to give us other than to just keep hanging in there or just the cat you know just hanging on that clothesline <laughs> a lot of women being told not to settle i would definitely tell the men do not settle that's what i tell you guys I apologize for believing this lie that i can have it all that i don't need a man that children are a burden, that my career is more important than anything, that my bank account um, can replace a person being a husband for me. I'm so sorry that I was this feminist that media, movies, songs, uh, influencers were convincing me that I can do everything by myself and that being feminine and vulnerable was the wrong thing to do and um, that I can choose to be masculine when it's a role that I don't want, I'm not qualified for, and therefore, I cannot tell men what to do. So I just want to apologize for my part in it, for believing all this BS. And um, hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll do more healing on our end, women, because uh, we're going to bear these children. So we need to get it together. And if I have a boy and I have that mentality, like I would never want to convince my son that he has to, you know, downplay his masculinity to make a woman feel comfortable. Not a. Well. Oh. 
It's a genuine apology. I enjoyed that one, but it doesn't get to the root cause of things. Being apologetic at 30 is nothing, to tell you the truth. Like, at least how a lot of my audience feels like most of the men in my subs and my comments don't even care anymore about your apology. It's too late. From your 20s to 30s, you destroyed enough men that they don't even care. And then you apologizing actually doesn't fix an issue. The issue is that these younger generations are still doing the same thing. You know, well, how can we fix what you guys went through to the younger generation? That's what you guys should be trying to like put out there also. Why? Because men can't do that. We're not the ones that can solve that. All we can do is make freaking podcasts and get trashed on constantly by women because we make podcasts about talking about these subjects. And uh, that's it. Women don't take us seriously as podcasters and stuff like that. Where other women, they actually kind of do. This is why I kind of try to focus on other women speaking for my channel. Not that I'm like trying to get women on my channel or anything, but the women that are on my channel, they, they, they might need a voice that speaks to them better than us men speaking to them, right? Like I, how I spoke about it in the last couple videos. But yeah, the apology is wonderful. I, I think most men would be like, oh, great, thank you, but I'm still mid -tow. Like, the laws are still against me. Doesn't matter how, you know, wonderful you are or how you've learned, the laws are still built against me. Because you could be happy and sorry now, but what happens in five years when you, what if you changed your mind? Right? This is how men think and this is how men feel. We know women's minds are easily changed. Easily changed. Why? You kind of just spoke about it. All these women talking about all these things, they learn from other women in culture. They used to be, I would assume the, the, the woman in the uh, Punjab is, was once traditional. And then she got to college, she got indoctrinated, and then she realized she messed up. And now she's trying to come back to traditional. But during that era, it, she got changed. And there was nothing that, she, that people can really do about that part of women changing so love the apology but it sucks hearing it from post-wall women you know if they were like 19 20 year olds then i think we can we're going somewhere but at this age we don't even know if you're genuine or not because you're post-wall right so are you really genuinely sad about your actions and remorse towards men or now it's your options have dwindled so much that you understand what you did and you fucked up and you're and you're apologetic like that those are two different ways to go about understanding where you're at so okay so i'm just so sorry yeah um i know that just from everything that I see, it just seems so discouraging right now to be a man and to have like accusations just flung at you Correct. Um, in every direction in the media. But I feel like there are a lot of us women that are starting to wake up to this and we're starting to see through the lies of the media. We're smart and we're, we're catching on. This is not going to be a forever thing, I believe. <sighs> I'm not saying you guys aren't smart, but it took you until your 30s and your, your your options dwindled for you to realize this. This is the part where I'm like, how smart can you be? You should have saw this. Like, if you actually logically thought about the things that they were saying, instead of just taking it in and just, yeah, that's how it should be. You would have realized there was some things off of what they were telling you. Right? So that comment no, all of us are smart and we're starting to realize no, yeah too late why because the world kind of forced you to learn um where men are you know really thrown away so much um so there are a lot of women who are starting to understand what's going on and we're leaving this feminist movement me included um and i believe that uh you know, you just have to 
just believe that if you're looking for a woman who's understanding and, and he's, who's not going to emasculate you, we are out there and there are a lot of us. You just like, um, like Alana was saying, don't settle just because you think they're not out there and that you can't find someone who's going to give you the respect that you deserve. Um, yeah. Still, yeah, even if we found that person, it doesn't change the laws. And she even admitted in the beginning, right, where she was like, a lot of the you know, accusations are thrown. Oh, there's still a lot of good women out there. That actually doesn't solve the issue of accusations getting thrown. Laws are like going towards where we can't even look at women now without getting s labeled as SAers, right? So, again, l the apology is wonderful. But it does not really change anything. Thank you for the sorries, but laws are made that way. You know, you tell us to be like the first one, like, oh, just hang in there. How long can we hang in there when the laws are so skewed against us? If the laws keep going the way they're going, so many men are going to be in jail because of these accusations. There's going to be no men left that are going to be running the world. <laughs> Take care of yourself when you're down before you get back with somebody else. Um, I would say thank you for all the ways that you show up for us. Um, I know you do a lot in the background and you often go unthanked, but you are often making sure that we're well taken care of and that you're creating a space for us to be able to be ourselves and a lot of what you do goes unnoticed. So don't stop. Thank you so much for making sure that we're well taken care of even whenever we don't notice it. So yeah. You're welcome. I would say like keep learning about us, keep that curiosity. <laughs> Oh shit! She just said, "Keep learning about them, guys. Keep watching my channel." <laughs> um, and yeah, it's still we are like there are a lot of women out there that are still feminine and believe in in gentlemen, and we want we want real gentlemen. So yeah, that's that's pretty much what I need to say. Uh, I was thinking kind of along the lines of what the last several ladies shared. Um, there are good women out there. Um, we do still appreciate gentlemen. We do still appreciate a man who will hold the door for us and open the car. Yeah, you're right. There is. There's a lot of them in their 30s where a lot of men don't want. The ones in their 20s still have the exact same issue. This is the big problem that men, like, listening to this are probably going to be like, this is what a lot of comments in my comic section for this video is probably going to be about, which I'm pretty sure. Our door and, you know, walk on the, the street side of the sidewalk and all those old fashioned chivalrous things, those show that you care. Um, and there are women out there who will appreciate that. And if that's the kind of man that you are and you and you just keep running into these women who are just strong and independent, they don't need a man, move on. How is that chow? You know, I know men love hearing these apologies here and there, but we also are very cynical and it's just like, they're in their thirties now. Did they learn because they truly learn or did they learn because life slapped them in the face and told them this is what it is now <laughs> well i mean not saying life slapping you in your face is a bad thing it happens to a lot of men you know like get your ass in gear man like get to the gym start working on yourself things like that but it'd be nice if we can get the younger generation to realize what these women are realizing it would have been nice if these women kind of like spoke about things that they could do or you know suggestions of how we can help the younger generations and help people not be in their shoes in this late stage and you know realizing that men aren't trash so please like and subscribe down below i'd really appreciate that and let's get you guys next time it's chow time <laughs>